Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video we're going to solve the first problem of week 2 of CS50 which is Scrabble. So to do that, first of all we will open a browser, preferably a Chromium based browser. So I currently have Arc open. We'll go to this link cs50.harvard.edu forward slash x forward slash 2025 because this is new year. Press enter and once we're here we'll click on week 2 go to the bottom problem set 2 and then this is the first assignment that we have to submit which is Scrabble and let's go down basically the program that you're building is a game that takes input from two users player 1 and player 2 and then it calculates the points for the words that the users enter from an array that is given here and then it says basically who wins does player one win player two win or is it a tie right so in order to build this program and then to submit it the very first thing that we'll do is we'll go to cs50.dev cs50.dev press enter once we are here click on login and then give it a moment to set everything up and hold on Okay, let the terminal do it also. Alright, cool. So once we are here, the very first thing that we'll do is we'll create a new folder for week 2. So to do that, just let me check. Okay, we are in the right place. So I'll say mkdir week 2, press enter. There's a new folder on the left. And then I'll go to week 2, the folder week 2. I'll create a new directory called Scrabble because that is what they want us to do in a file called scribble.c in a folder called scrabble right so i'll create a new directory mkdir scrabble again i'll go to scribble press enter and then i'll create a new file and all of that is happening on the left right so i'll create a new file called scrabble.c press enter okay we are coding now so the very first thing that we want to do is let me I'll just zoom everything in so that you can see things properly and once we are here the very first thing that we'll do is let's create the pseudo code right so what are we trying to do here okay so first we are taking input from the user and then in the background we are calculating the points for both the users and then we are saying the output that is the which player wins or if the game is a tie so the pseudo code would be hold on uh, the pseudo code would be first take input from two users and then we are calculating the points calculate points for both the users and once we have done that uh, winner slash tie okay so first of all in the program let's just include the header files which are going to be in hold on include cs50.h include stdio.h then include mm, ctype.h include so these are the header files that we're going to need in our program cs50 of course to take the input stdio for input and output ctype for uppercase and lowercase and similarly we'll need string to calculate the length of the string as we saw in the lecture for the second week so once we've done that let's just create our main function which is int min void okay once we've done that the very first thing that we are doing let's just put all of this inside our main function all right okay so the very first thing that we are doing is taking input from the user right so the input that we're going to take is going to be in form of a string so for that we'll say string player one equals get get string and we are going to say player one because this is the form in which the 
uh, demo program text input right player one colon and then the user types in the word whatever it is and then similarly for player two so player one done similarly player two string player two equals get string player two and then a semicolon okay so we have taken the input from the user the next thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the points for both the users right so in order to calculate the points the very first thing that we need to do is let's just uh, declare a variable which will store the points for both the users right so what we can do is we can say int score one equals zero and it is important that we initiate this variable with a value of zero because if we do not if we just declare a variable called score one it could store a garbage value and which could be a random digit a random integer we don't want that to happen so i'll say score score one equals zero and similarly score two equals zero also and once we have uh, once we have two variables to score the total points of the users the next thing that we'll do is we, we will need to create an array which has all the points right so i'll just copy all of this we'll say int points equals okay this is going to be of size 26 because there are 26 alphabets and i'll just paste everything here once i've done that as you can see all the points are here from here but there are currently no commas right so we'll have to enter all the commas manually it would have been nice if in the resources for this particular problem if this was basically given and we could copy and paste but since it's not given we'll have to do this manually so this is our array for points right let's add the same column okay yeah so everything should be in one line that is important let me hide this okay so we have a we have our points here in this points array right all the points i copied and pasted from here the next thing that we're going to do is we are still calculating the point but now we will need to go through all of the characters in the string that the player one entered right so for that we will need a loop right for int i equals zero and similarly let's declare another integer which is going to be n is equals to sterling player one yeah so basically sterling will calculate the length of the strings and once we have this we will say while i is less than n and i plus plus so this is our loop which will allow us to run through all of the characters of the string that the player one entered right so for that and now to calculate the points what we will do is the very first thing that we'll try to make sure of is that the characters that we are going through is an alpha bet right because if you were to look at the demo you will see that there's question which is all alphabet and then there's also a question mark but in our uh, array for points there are no points for anything other than alphabets right so to avoid using any of the these things basically any other symbols besides alphabets we will first of all only go we will only add the points if it is an alphabet so if we were to go to manual .cs50.io and if you search for what was that uh okay it's right here c type header is alpha which will help us check whether a character is alphabetical right so we already included the c type dot h header file up top line three so now what we are going to do is we'll see how it's used so char c equals get char whatever if is alpha and the character then the following line will be following line of code will be executed so we will simply say if is alpha and our character is player one which is the uh, which is the string that is entered by player one and our character is going to be i if the string entered by the user was question 
if this was the string if the first character is alphanumeric not alphanumeric if it's an alphabet only then the following line will be executed okay but what line is going to be executed for that what we are going to do is we will say if this is an alphabet then if you look at this this is an uppercase this is lowercase this is lowercase right basically the cases are different so one of the easiest way that we're going to solve this problem is by using the ascii chart right and if you look at it properly hold on let me open any of this okay open in new tab let me close this yeah if you look at it properly what's happening is for a capital a the value is 65 and for small a the value is 97 so these are basically different right and in our resources in our resources we are given like everything is capital so let's just turn everything to capital right and if you were to go to manual and you will see under the c type header file there's also two upper and two lower and it's basically the same thing the implementation which is basically two upper and the character great so what we can do is okay let's go back to our head of uh, our program and we will say char for a character c is equals to two upper and player one i so what this is doing is it's basically taking whatever alphabet character is provided right after qualifying that it is an alphabet and then it is basically storing that particular character in a character called in a variable called c right once you've done this semicolon and once we have done this what we want to do is we want to now calculate the point right so i want to say score one plus equals which is basically going to like take whatever the value of score one is as of now and then it will add to it so that is going to be uh, we already have uppercase and if we look at the ASCII chart okay so the value of the uppercase A is 65 right so what I, what I wanted to say is points and whatever our value is C minus 65 so the reason this works is let's say the value that we were given was an a right if the string was let's say it was answer let's imagine so this a is the value of a is 65 right so if we were to say 65 minus 65 it it would give us a zero right and uh, so basically what we have now is points and big brackets zero and if we were to check in the array points it would be zeroth location since we begin everything by a zero zero index we would get this value one so basically score one is equals to score one plus one right so this is how our program would calculate the score so till line 24 we would get all the points for the first string so we'll just copy this and we'll paste it here and now we'll just change a few things hold on okay player two player two point score one we want to update score two okay so now we already have we have populated the values for both the uh, scores score one is completed score two is completed and now what we are going to do is we need to declare the winner or the tie so if simple player one is greater than the value of player one is greater than player two what we want to do then is printf and that is going to be player one wins i guess that is how we implement it okay i forgot to wow i forgot the semicolon here and a semicolon here very important to not forget that anyway that's all right so let's go back here let's see how they're declaring it okay so this tie player one wins player two wins pretty good okay so once we've done this we'll check else if 
player 2 is greater than player 1 we want to say printf player 2 wins alright and once we have checked for both the conditions the last option is basically going to be else it's a tie right printf tie let's try to execute this program let's try to compile it first I'll clear the screen and then I'll say uh, make scrabble and it will give us an error which is because expected this printf oh wow I forgot the semicolon here and here this should be a semicolon not a colon so what I'm doing is I'm comparing player 1 and player 2 which is not correct I have to compare score 1 and score 2 okay score if score 2 is greater than score 1 then player 2 wins now this should work so I'll just clear everything clear and I'll execute the program again first I'll need to make the program because I have made changes so make scrabble and now execute scrabble and I'll copy this enter and I'll copy this enter that's a tie great I'll copy this I'll run the program again red and similarly player 2 enters wheelbarrow okay player 2 wins so it seems like our program is correct so to check the correctness of our program we'll copy this and we'll paste it here press enter and let's see what happens waiting for the result okay this is wonderful we got everything correct that is nice so the next thing that we want to do is we want to style it properly so if you wanted you could copy and paste this into our terminal but the way that I like to style our program is by clicking here on the right top corner style 50 click here it will show you all the suggestion and explain it will explain to you if you wanted to but I just want to apply all the changes apply changes done wonderful looks good so now we'll need to submit it I'll copy this and I'll paste it here press enter it will take a moment and then it will ask you whether or not you're sure keeping in mind the program's academic honesty policies blah 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 I am sure to submit it press enter and then it will say you have submitted it successfully to see your score click here so I'll command click open if you are on Windows you would have to click control and click okay so we got 11 out of 11 which is good full points style 51.00 that is also full points so congrats you've done it that is how you solve scrabble and in the next video we're going to solve the readability problem so for that make sure to click on this playlist once i upload the video you will be able to watch it from there and if you have any questions or any other problem let me know through the comments and these videos take a lot of time and effort to make so it would be highly appreciated if you could subscribe to the channel drop a comment down below and maybe like the video right i'll see you in the next video take care